Lesson 19, Lens Focal Length. The lens focal length is the basic description of a camera lens, and it's given in millimetres. The shorter the focal length, the wider field of view the lens can capture. The longer the focal length, the narrower the field of view will be that the lens can capture. Your kit lens will be something like an 18 to 55 millimetre zoom lens. So at 18 millimetres, you're capturing the widest field of view with that lens. And at 55 millimetres, you're capturing the narrowest field of view that this lens can capture. The lens on your phone is a very short focal length that captures a wide angle of view and doesn't zoom. If it does zoom, it is a digital zoom. Well, some higher end model phones actually do have other lenses, but they're still not a true zoom lens. One of the big advantages of using a camera is that you can change lenses or you can use a zoom lens and alter the focal length. So you can go between a wide field of view and a very narrow field of view. You can adjust how much you see in your composition by zooming your lens rather than having to physically move closer. The camera's focal length measurement doesn't actually indicate how long the lens is. The focal length measurement of your lens is actually the measurement from the camera's sensor to the point in the lens where the light rays converge when the lens is in focus. And yeah, that's just how it is. It was probably thought up by the same group of people that thought up f-stop numbers. It's really not easy to remember. But what's most important to remember is that the lower the number, the wider the angle, the higher the number, the narrower the field of view of a focal length on a lens. On zoom lenses, you'll see two focal length numbers. These indicate the widest field of view and the narrowest field of view that that lens is capable of. And with a kit lens, you are somewhat limited by how wide and how close up that lens can get. This is why photographers who enjoy bird photography or sports, for example, will buy a longer focal length lens because it allows them to capture a very narrow field of view and brings their subject looking like it's much closer to the camera. The size of the sensor, like the physical size of the sensor inside your camera, also has an influence on the field of view. So, for example, a 50mm lens on a full frame sensor has about a 47 degree field of view. This is similar to what we see naturally with our eyes, not including our peripheral vision. So it's quite a natural standard focal length. To capture the same field of view on a camera with a smaller sensor, say a micro four third sensor, like my little mirrorless cameras are, you'll need to use a 25 millimeter lens because the sensor size is about half the size of a full frame sensor. This is known as a two times crop factor. With an APS-C sensor, this gives a 1.6 times crop factor. And the lens to use to capture that equivalent field of view of about 47 degrees, you'd need to use a 31 millimeter lens. The field of view and focal length measurements typically used in photography are all based on a full frame 35 millimeter size sensor. This is because it's the same size as a piece of 35 millimeter film was. So the numbers can all be a little bit confusing sometimes, but what's most important to understand is for which lens you're using, which focal length you're using, is what the field of view, how much of your composition you're going to be able to see with that lens when it's zoomed out and when it's zoomed in and in between that as well. So it's not so important to remember all the numbers, which can be quite tricky. What's most important to remember about lens focal length is that with a wide field of view, it's going to be represented by a low number, and the narrower the field of view, the higher the focal length number is. When you're really familiar with the lenses that you use, you'll be able to pre-visualize what focal length you need to use to make a particular type of composition. And this is one reason I love using prime lenses because I know instinctively what sort of angle of view each lens is gonna give me when I put it on my camera. Lesson 19, practical exercise, lens focal length. This practical exercise is designed to give you more of a feel for when to use different focal lengths. Set your zoom lens to about 50 millimeters if you have a full frame sensor. 
Set it to about 25 millimeters if you have a microfilm feed sensor, and if you've got an APS-C sensor, set it to around 30 millimeters. This will give you the field of view of about 47 degrees, which is what we naturally see. Choose a subject to photograph that can fill your whole frame from top to bottom when you're holding your camera in a horizontal position. Start by taking some photos where your subject's right in the center of the frame, and then take some more where you can pose it towards the left and then to the right, and position it in different parts of the frame, all at your medium focal length. And then zoom your lens to the widest angle and repeat the process again. So start taking some photos with a nice composition with your subject in the center and then to either side of your frame. After you've done this, zoom to your longest focal length and then take the same series of photos. Center, left and right, experiment a little bit, get a bit imaginative and be creative with what you're doing as well. Look at what's happening in the background. Look at what's happening behind your subject and how much you can see of the background each time. When you zoom in to use your longest focal length, you may need to back away from your subject a little bit to get it so that the top and the bottom of it is still in the frame. Make some good notes about what you're observing as you're taking these photos and then review them on your computer and look at the differences between each of the sets of photos. How much can you see in the frame when you use the medium, the standard focal length, in comparison to how much could you see in the frame when you use the widest focal length and then the longest focal length? And think about how different these compositions are when you use different focal lengths. The main points for this lesson are the lower the focal length number, the wider the field of view. The higher the focal length number, the narrower the field of view. Sensor size affects field of view. Practice this to improve your photography. Each time you're taking photos, use a variety of focal lengths. This will help you become more familiar with your lenses and build your composition skills.